How's it going, everybody? Dato Doe here, back with another very exciting Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And I say exciting because as it is a new month, we have a new month's leaks of V Jump. And for Dragon Ball Fighters specifically, we got a ton of news regarding both a new dramatic finish being confirmed, the release window for UI Goku, and of course, something that I didn't expect to be as excited about. But we're also getting a confirmation on a Goku celebration item that might have taken over two years to get into the game. But let's just go ahead and start with the really hype stuff, the stuff we were all waiting for. And that is the new dramatic finish that is getting added into the game, which is, of course, between Goku and Kefla. Now, if you want Watch Dragon Ball Super, I'm sure you're aware of what scene this is going to be, but this is basically the culmination of Kefla and Goku's fight, where Kefla throws out a gigantic beam, Goku rides it with a Kamehameha, and then delivers one of the best finishers we've ever seen in Dragon Ball as a franchise. As far as what images we can see here directly, we see a picture of a close-up on UI Omen's face, as well as a picture of him dodging the initial key blast, and then a close-up shot of him dodging what looks to be uh, either a bigger key blast or maybe a beam at that point, and then we get confirmation that Kefla is indeed firing the beam upwards, and a final shot of Goku riding the beam and delivering the final Kamehameha. Even in pictures, this looks super smooth. I cannot wait until we see the final video of this thing, but I'm just going to say right now, this is probably going to be the best dramatic finish. Up until this point, I would have given that title to DBS Broly and Gogeta, but I don't know. It's going to have to work really hard to beat this one. This is going to look sick. As far as where the dramatic finish takes place, it looks as if it's going to take place on the moon. So again, no T.O.P. stage getting announced. I would probably give up hope on it, at least for now. At least I am. Uh, my dreams have been crushed one too many times at this rate. But I am very happy we are getting the dramatic finish in some way. One thing that you do have to wonder about, though, is does this confirm that we will be getting a normal UI Omen slash sign skin for Mastered Ultra Instinct? If you look closely at the skin, the dramatic finish clearly shows normal state UI Goku finishing Kefla, which is what happened in the show. But the only form we've seen of Goku UI being playable is his mastered UI state. In fact, in his intro, he rips off the shirt he's wearing in this dramatic finish and transforms into mastered UI. Honestly, at this point, I would say that this is very good evidence that we might in fact get a UI Omen skin, which would be amazing. Now they have done things in the past that might not have made sense like Gogeta powering down to Janemba, but how, I mean, that can be explained right we could always just make the joke like oh gogeta's gogeta's flexing on janemba like it's not even that much work but i mean how do you regrow a shirt <laughs> i don't know i don't think they do that is the thing so who knows maybe we might be looking at a skin situation just thought i'd bring that up not confirmed doesn't mention that in the scan uh but yeah just a little theory to to feed on i guess moving on to the new release window we got for goku ui a lot of people were speculating that he would come out on may 9th as that is goku day but we're just going to get a separate reward on that day and they actually let us know that goku Goku UI will be coming out at some point in mid-May. That's right, there is no specific date, so don't believe anybody that says it unless they say, of course, it's just their theory, uh, then it's just their theory. As of right now, my theory would be some point around the 13th to maybe the uh, 20th or 21st. I would look at specific dates on Tuesday. Uh, that seems to be when they do most of their DLC releases, but just keep around that area in mid-May and also make sure to follow Bandai's social media account because at some point we may get a dramatic finish trailer and then a more concrete release date in the tweet above. Now, what is this reward that took over two years to get into the game? Well, that is the manga color for Goku. That's right. Each individual Goku in the game is going to get access to the very old manga color that we used to have back in the beta. Now, if you didn't play during this time, Goku's second color actually looked like this. Everybody that ran Goku online ran that color. And then in the full release, it was just gone. No explanation, no nothing. And now finally, two years later, it's making its triumphant return on every Goku. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. In fact, you can actually see this color of Goku in my very first video on this channel. That's how old it is. <laughs> I am speaking to you two years from now, and I'm finally going to get to play that Goku color again. And with that, that's pretty much the breakdown video for the scan. Not too much to go into here, just a few little interesting pieces of details. So mid-May, let me know your guesses on when it's going to be. And of course, down below in the comments, let me know if you think this is going to be the best dramatic finish of all time, because uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. While you're down there, though, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these update videos and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all things dragon ball fighters of course we are going to be playing a ton of goku here going over some tech combos stuff like that so you're definitely not going to want to miss it other than that you can check out some videos on top of your screen i have been dr doya and i will see you in the next one